falling from the skies. I am sick. I was struck by sickness. Flash flooding to occur. Be especially cautious at night. I'm here this morning to have my blood work taken. And if you look at this rather long list, those are all the things that they're going to be testing in my blood. Now, I have been fasting since last night. Now, that's not a big problem, but what this does mean is that I haven't had any coffee. And that presents an issue. I have become unhealthy. I've never been the, the picture child of health, but I am not in a healthy place. Um, my focus is gone. I can't sleep. I need to start seriously thinking about making some changes. And not some temporary changes, but some life changes. Changes that are gonna stick because I am, after all, uh, officially an adult. That's what they tell me. Let's go get this blood work taken. I'm supposed to open these outside of the car. control are smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and high triglyceride levels, diabetes and prediabetes, being overweight or obese, being physically inactive, or having metabolic syndrome. I'm going to need your insurance card. Okay. Does your chopstick say free range chicken? It says free range chicken poop. Free range chicken poop. Yum. Is that what it's made out of? All right. Get right down down the hall for me. Second door on the left. Which door are you in? They're gonna take my blood. Nice strong fist for me. Hold her nice and tight for me. Oh, perfect. That'll go right to the doctor. I'll have it two to three days at the most. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. So that's done. Because of flooding, Starbucks will be closed until further notice. Thank you for your patience. I probably should not be standing here, but the rapids were beckoning me to come film. So when they said glass flood warning, I guess they weren't kidding. Um, this is uh, usually not even a babbling brook. That is very dangerous. What's disgusting is that I've become a regular at the first aid section at my local grocery store pharmacy. All right, so I am sick here, like in my head and I need to medicate myself. I'm thinking with going with the NyQuil. What is green supposed to represent flavor-wise? You know, you have the association with red and, and, and blood, which I don't like, especially after just giving some. I'm gonna go with the green, the classic. I think, I think it's like the original, like, like Coca-Cola classic. Why is it important to exercise our body, Don? Our body is like a machine. If we don't use it, it gets rusty. You mean that if we don't use our body, it becomes rusty? You mean that if we don't use our body, it becomes rusty? You mean that if we don't use our body, it becomes rusty? All right, let's Pepto this up. Um, yeah, there's some wind. There's some, there's some rain as well. It comes equipped with one of these cups. And uh, it's suggesting to take 30 milliliters. You know, there was no resealable tab. That was about 30 milliliters.
Beyond those trees, that's the Hudson River. And the water levels seem to be pretty high. However, the rain has stopped. So far, I can already see the river water, the level, uh, pretty high. So I thought I would take this window of opportunity to bring you along with me so I could visit a place that I haven't been to in quite some time. 12 years, in fact, 12 years. So I just used every ounce of my body and soul to climb that hill. There's a street and a very steep incline. Because I used to come up here when I was a young kid. This was a hideout. And back in those days, that was the only way of getting up to the top here. But as soon as I, as soon as I got up here, I quickly realized, stairway, there's a stairway. If I had just parked there, I could have walked down the stairs. This is a park. This used to be a hideaway. This is now a park. In high school, a buddy and I used to come right up to this spot and sit up against the walls of what we called the Bat Cave. This is a, a cave that runs underneath the Hudson Bridge. In those days, we weren't supposed to be up here. We were technically breaking the, the rules. But we would sit here against the wall, and like any wide-eyed teenager, we would look at the Hudson River and use it as a metaphor for the future. The future, what lies in store, the journey ahead, the trek, what will tomorrow bring, and how will we get to the other side? And in times of optimism, we would boast about how easy it would be to get to the other side. And in times of weariness and sadness and sorrow, we would talk about the impossibility of getting to that dry land across that strong current. But here I am, you know, uh, almost a generation and a half later, and I'm still on this side looking that way. The other side of the river was supposed to be the future. It was supposed to be tomorrow. And yet I'm still here. Because I've realized that the whole obstacle is not about getting to the other side. The obstacle is having the bravery, the courage, and the will to get in that water every single day with the uncertainty and brave the waters. To pedal as fast as you can and to carry as much as you can and to work and put in everything you have, putting yourself to the test. And it's that mentality that's both saved me and also put me in the state that I'm in right now. Over the past year and a half, I found a very comfortable place, a place where I could be creative, document my travels, my explorations, meet people, go places I've never been before. There were so many toys and new things to play with, but the negative side of that is that I've neglected my diet. I've neglected to take care of myself. Hours in the day have been wasted, not going to giving myself some physical activity. I haven't been able to gauge my stress, my anxiety. There's moments of clarity when I know what I have to do, but I feel like I'm up here, neck deep in the water, in the river. But I need to get out. You know, I still have that mentality that my creative self, my thoughts are independent from my body. And the reality of that is really starting to sink in, that the mind and the body are one. And if one goes down in the river, the other one sinks with it. So over the course of the next 10 weeks, I'm gonna go on an adventure one that doesn't require me to get in my vehicle every single day and travel from highway to highway, from town to town, to hotel to motel. 
Instead, every day I'm gonna push myself to the limit and every week take one giant leap, increasing my challenge to get myself in a healthier state, rather mentally or physically. And by the end of the 10 weeks, I'm convinced if I push hard enough, I might find myself only ankle deep in water. The hardest part of the next 10 weeks might be in the coming seconds, because I'm going to say, in this moment right now, my challenge begins. How do you eat an elephant? One massive bite at a time. Only, I'm not gonna be eating an elephant. In fact, I'm, I'm actually gonna be eating really good. I'm gonna be eating veggies and fruits, greens, green smoothies, lots of exercise. It's gonna be much better than eating an elephant. Thing. two bunches of kale right here, but that's not gonna be it. We need more than that. We got more ingredients here. 